posted, 11.43 p.m. October 11, 2018 A. Rogers at UlsterHerald.com Kelly Clowers Mark Bradley spins away from Coal Island's Michael McKernan in the 2016 county final. JB41 KILLYCLOGHER have received a big boost ahead of the county final on Sunday week with the news that Tyrone star, Mark Bradley, is expected to be fit to line out for them in the O'Neill Cup showdown against Coal Island. He sustained an injury to his mouth and nose as the St. Mary's defeated Ard Bowen last weekend's semi-final. But team manager, Dominic Corrigan is optimistic about his chances of returning to the starting 15 as they aim for a second county title in three years. Speaking last night, he said that they would be relieved to have him available for selection. The Fermana man is also hoping that Martin Swift, who captained them in the 2016 final win over the Fianna, will also be fit. Mark is good to go, he will be okay. He got a back knock, but thankfully there were no breaks and we're just relieved to have him, said Corrigan. It would have been an awful shame if a player like Mark Bradley had to miss out on a championship final because of that. He got a facial injury, and a bang on the head, so we weren't prepared to take any more chances with him. He's doing a PGSE in England at the minute and we haven't seen that much of him in the last six weeks, an All-Ireland U21 winner with Tyrone in 2015, Mark Bradley was the star man when Killy Kloger comprehensively defeated Cole Island in the final two years ago. Posted, 11.43pm October 11, 2018